What's up guys, the Bobcat here, and welcome back to Dawn of War. Last time, we had just finished dealing with the orcs. By the way, that war boss isn't dead, just so you know. I didn't mention this in the last part, but he's not dead. Because he's in Winter Assault and Dark Crusade. In fact, he survived a lot of things. Anyway, and this time we're going to be moving on to the next mission. The orcs have been repelled, and the war boss has been defeated. But this war is far from over. The orcs still threaten to overcome several major population centers and could mass more than a large enough force to overwhelm the Imperial armies present on the planet. We have bought time, nothing more. But this is no longer a primary concern. Our scouts have recovered evidence that the forces of chaos, the great enemy, may be operating on this planet right under our very noses. We must face this foe wherever they stand if there is even a chance that they are here, we must seek them out and destroy them. Inquisitor Toth is demanding that we leave the planet, but of all the powers his position grants him, commandeering a space marine company is not one of them. I must admit that I find his presence unwelcome so soon after the events on my homeworld of Cyrene. Inquisitors have a way of inflaming a guilty conscience. And that, I do not need right now. In case you missed what's happened to Angelos recently, in terms of the game, his home planet of Cyrene was found to be a heretic, well, contain heretics and a chaos incursion. So the Inquisition formed an exterminatus. You can probably guess what an exterminatus is. So yeah, uh, Captain Gabriel Angelos isn't very happy right now. He's been, he's suffering a little bit. He'll make it through, he's a space marine for God's sake, but he's not happy about the Inquisitor being here, for obvious reasons. Well, the blight. It's about standard for Hawks though. A poor guardsman. <laughs> oh god, they're gonna be in a rough way. A new lead. Chaos. Ooh. Ooh, see that there in the background? I think that's an Eldar. It seems Eldari. This warp storm could trap us here for a month or for a century. We cannot risk staying here. We must evacuate Tartarus before it arrives in three days' time. The Imperial Guard and Holy Fleet can attend to the evacuation. The Blood Ravens have more pressing matters to contend with. Such as? I believe agents of chaos have taken strong root here. I sense no taint here. Even so, were there a chaos presence on Tartarus? It is better we leave them here with the orcs than waste more lives fighting them. We could wish no worse fate for either of our enemies and to be trapped with the other. But we must leave here now. That is a matter for my brothers and I to decide. We will use these three days to settle our affairs and satisfy our suspicions. Meanwhile, you have our transports to facilitate evacuation. Colonel Brom, the captain and I must attend to matters of faith. If you would leave us, please. But surely this involves me as a... Forgive me for not being clear on the matter. I said please, when in fact I meant now. No, you don't speak back to an Inquisitor. <laughs> not unless you're a space marine. Him. We should have shown him a modicum of respect. Captain, you uncovered extensive heresy on your home world. Cyrene, was it? That has nothing to do with the events here on Tartarus. But I believe they do. You requested the Inquisition undertake an exterminatus. The destruction of your planet's entire populace. Which we obliged. I still fail to see, Captain. I am not questioning your loyalty, but I must wonder if your actions on Cyrene have not affected your judgment. Perhaps that was a poor choice of words. I merely fear that you might see chaos where it does not exist. I ask that as a loyal subject of the Emperor, you serve the Imperium's interests before your own agenda. Captain. That Inquisitor had no right to speak to you in such manner. But perhaps he is right. 
The coming storm will trap our enemies here, where they can consume one another. And what if the forces of chaos escape the system before the storm? No. We will not use this freak occurrence as an excuse to avoid our enemies, or our responsibility. They are here for a reason, and we will discover that reason. We are with you, brother captain, as always. The humans are coming your way in full force. You should hear their heavy feet long before you see them, and smell them long before that. Orbital Command has indicated a dropship landed in this general proximity. They've discovered a path, Captain. It's obvious someone has been digging here. Cut by orcs? Hmm, I've never seen an orc lend such a careful hand to a task. If it wasn't orcs, then it must be the forces of chaos. Oh dear. Our scouts are in a bad situation. Oh no, it's the Eldar. Well, the Eldar are here. I apologize if I got cut off we suddenly then. This path and discover the truth behind what has transpired here. I just had a phone call I had to take care of. But yeah, Eldar, you can see one there. There's one of the sneakies. Sneaky gits. The sacred artifact will now be available to us. Constructed, and we will have access to powerful abilities. I forget what the sacred artifact has. Let's max you out. Let's get infiltration. Like usual, another squad. Where's that sneaky elder? Can we see him? Not quite. Yeah, I just had to take care of a phone call, so I went quiet during that cutscene. I have to make sure to edit that out so no one hears me talking. But actually, oh, no power. Also, we have four champions now. Well, at the moment. We have... Inquisitor. I will crush the enemy beneath my boot. Inquisitor Mordecai. Mm -hmm. the Emperor still draw breath, there can be no peace. Blood Raven's third company. Yeah, he's just an Imperial Guardsman. With me shall be my brother. <laughs> Nothing fancy about him. Scouts awaiting orders. Scouts Get you to infiltrate. Search commencing. What's your order? You guys get some heavy bolters going. At your command. Yes, my lord. Direct us to the uh, can we get the f no? We can't get the fox from our on yet. Let's get you guys moving out then. Yes, my lord. There is some. We do need to head down that way. It's where those scouts just died, and also there's a uh, a point down there we should capture. See if there's any sneaky Eldar left down there. I forget what those things were. I want to say they were warp spiders, but I don't remember. Don't think that's quite the right terminology. How can I serve? Yes, my lord. Scouts ready. Yes, my lord. Claim it yes, in the name lord. of the Emperor. We will move ahead. At your command. Mark any what enemy would positions. You do? Well, while they're capturing that, we should yes, make sure lord. our base is working. Yes, um, lord. need the monastery add-on. Need heavy weapons increase. Let's be safe and put a... Come on. Let me put it there. So you can't put it where there's fog of war. Excellent. So everyone move back out. Get the scouts out. In fact, we'll put the scouts on like six. Put you on a two, not three. Put you on three. So one, two, three, six. Get both of you down there to do that. To get us more uh, requisition. Now oh, they're running. They had their morale broken. If you looked. They weren't attacking. They were fleeing. 
What could inspire fear in an orc? How can I serve? That was only one thing. Getting into position. Sneaky. Yes, my lord. Yes. Orcs don't like it when you're sneaky. Urge. I've got to make sure to keep using the hotkeys I assigned. We are the Emperor's chosen. <coughs> Understood. What's your order? Construction complete. Excellent. We'll bring these guys. Uh, get the monastery upgrade first. Come on. Yes, most beneficent one. Yeah, we can bring both these guys with us. At first I wasn't going to, but there's no reason not to. Something is not right here. These orc bodies do not look like they were dispatched by Imperial hands. Praise the Emperor. Well, if not Imperial, then who? Gathering intelligence. Have everyone just walk forward. Getting into position. Getting into position. Just mosh pit the way. Be it Eldar or Chaos. I will have answers either way. Press on. Eldari. It's not good to see Eldar. Generally implies bad things. You two get that on there. And you can build two more servitors. Wish my units would group up better. I'm hoping that will be more fixed soon when we uh, get to the next game. Need more strategic resources. Guess we're just gonna have to wait a little bit. Oh, oh, oh no, that's not good. No, oh, my servitors. Run, servitor. Run. I didn't think the Eldar would attack. Hmm, that's what I get for not thinking the Eldar would do things. Did you really not capture that damn post? Takes forever, good lord. Okay. You two, get me a mach oh, Come on, really? Fine, get me a library thing. I'm not sure this will be able to hold out on its own, I'll be honest. I think we need some more guns there. Let's get a third servitor. Three seems like a good solid number. I'd like to get these as well, but we need more requisition. You caught, you caught it? Yes, they have. Good. Listening post. I'm not really sure what that gives us. Excellent. Yeah, see that sneaky transport keeps coming in. But apothecary is excellent. Let's get two. We'll want more. We will attach them to say this unit. You know what, you guys come along here. Do we have enough? Yeah. Pushing it a little bit. That should be more than enough to deal with. Any problems? Attach you to them. Yes, my lord. We stand ready. What are your needs? 
Just wait a minute for them to arrive. Didn't think we could build apothecaries though. I knew we'd be able to build them, I just didn't think when. It's good that we can get them though. I don't think we'll have anything new in the machine cult. Sadly. Oh really? Come on. Ah. Well, you can build it down here if you want. Hmm. Not sure that's sensible. Um, have you got any? What's wrong with the space? Oh, it'll fit there. It's a bit far away. I would like to have it closer. That's why I have this space open for. But oh well. Whatever, it's fine. The fallen shall be forever remembered. Get you guys back here. Build me some more turrets just in case. Come on, get up. There we go. And then this lot will be heading out. So one, two, three, yes, my lord. Six. So we're gonna be infiltrating. Any I built another apothecary? No, it'll be the guy in the unit, what that's what it'll be. Yeah, it's the apothecary in the unit talking. They will allow us to get through unscathed and attack the Dark Reapers on those cliffs of command. Scouts awaiting orders. Yeah, Dark Reapers. Rhino transports are now available. Build them at the machine cult. Uh, machine cult, there it is. Oh, we can get Hellfire Dreadnoughts. Even better. Um. Well, we'll get like two Rhinos, maybe. Yes. Also, you three never finished building down here, so could you please do that? Get those rhinos up. I didn't take long at all. Um, do I want to get another unit? I guess I do. I'd like to get two, actually. I don't know if these things have a capacity. Or if they only based on the number of units you have in your squad. I'm not sure. We'll find out in a second once they get built. Marine squad deployed. Fate is our Let's have a look. Rhino here. Yeah, they're only holding squads at a time. That's a little annoying. Oh well. We are going to need to put... Hmm. Well, we'll dump this unit out once we bring him here. And we'll just have the heavy bolters and the regular squad go forward. In fact, we'll give you plasma guns. Unload your trans... well, unload your passengers. Uh, heavy bolters? Sure. Rhino here. Rhino grab them, grab them. Okay, needs? I guess I have to tell you independently to get into the vehicles. They'll get in there eventually. Rhino transport is prepared. Put you at like... Nine. Well, it's eight. Never mind. Close enough. Armor. So I need to send you guys up there. Well, those Reapers do actually work on our Rhinos. Look at all those poor Orcs. Brutally slaughtered. So sad. Deposit your troops. I'll be honest, it's probably like the only time I ever use rhinos. Disembarking. 
I'll probably never use them ever again. Mostly because they just get in the way. Well, don't let that hang around. Let's get rid of that webway. Don't, and you sneaky L dash when I get through. Take them out. Well, one of my guys died. Stop moving. Just get in position and start shooting, please. Are they in range? They should be. Maybe not. That is quite a distance. Also, can you like get into just something? Engaging Eldar in close combat isn't the smartest idea. They're not the weakest units in close quarters. Wow, we lost all three. Lost a bunch of plasmas. Keep on range dancing, I guess. Lost the Dark Reapers dealt with. There we go. Bit sloppy. Oh, what's that? Okay, never mind. It's right on the map. Uh, I'm guessing we want to be heading up this way. Yeah, that seems to be the correct path. And that way is probably a base of some description. This is just a staging round. We'll want more units. Where's those rhinos? Let's get them back to base. That way we can actually get units brought backwards and forward. Also, there's a... Oh! It's a chaos rhino. When I saw that just then, I thought it was just a regular rhino. But no, it's chaos. It's got the... Uh, the eight pointed star. Yes, Spooky. Uh, we'll give you rockets. Because we do need rocket troops. We should also get out some. We'll get out a hellfire and a regular. Also, we'll start getting those researched as well. And keep researching that. Because we actually have. Uh, What's this? Um, oh, that's cool. But yeah, uh, what was I was going to say. We'll want. In fact, we should probably get two more apothecaries. In all honesty, we can cancel those researchers because we can stick them on those guys. We'll give you rockets as well. You frag grenades. It looks like we can't build jump troopers, which is good. I don't like them. Yeah, this Hellfire is a pure ranged beast. See, it's got the rocket pod on its side. You know, I don't think I ever spoke about what a Dreadnought was. The Dreadnoughts are basically sarcophaguses. Sarcophagi. That's basically what they are. It's when a Space Marine, who is of some notable reputation, uh, dies or falls in battle or is mortally wounded where they cannot be healed with cybernetics or uh, well yeah mostly cybernetics or any other procedure they are instead interred into a dreadnought that's why if you listen to what the dreadnought's been saying even in death I still serve it's because inside the dreadnought inside there where that slit is that's where the Space Marine is, or well, what's left of the Space Marine. So, yeah, that's grim and wonderful. Cool. Apothecaries are ready. Let's get you guys out there. You know, it might be worth building a base up here. 
Yeah, we'll leave it. Some sneaky elder get in. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. I follow your command. What is it you desire? What are you doing? Get in the rhino. Get in the rhino. How can I serve? What's your order? Oh dear. We have what are these called? Oh, warp spiders. I was right. I thought warp spider was something very different. Well, at least the squad didn't get completely wiped. Our squad doesn't even have an apothecary. Well, the good news is our other two squads will. Where are they? Did I not send you off? No. Bring the rhinos up. Send you forward. Try and keep our heavy bolters in cover. Right, maybe we didn't need any real rocket artillery. Rocket artillery. Rocket units. You two need to be under two. Move you up. Got our dreadnoughts coming in. Where's those rhinos? There they are. As I said, bringing some servitors up here and building a forward base might not be a bad idea, but... We'll be fine. Just deposit them. Okay, you two can be under like five. And you two can be under four, we'll say. So we'll have group one, group two, group three, group four. While the enemies of the emperor still draw breath, there can be no peace. Ideally, we have four ahead of three and the others. Yes, my lord. Have you hold ground? Ugh. Dreadnoughts. We are the Emperor's here. Fun times with units that are confused about how they want to move. Ooh, Banshees. Said to be the most annoying units the Elder have. If I'm not mistaken, I very well might be. I don't play Eldar, so... And I've never... I haven't actually played that many games of Warhammer itself, so I have no idea how terrible they are. Bring you all up here, so we'll bring you there, you there, grab that, put you up there, get you up there as well. Yeah, I don't remember how many missions they are, I said this before, maybe 12? 12 seems like a somewhat reasonable number, could be more, could be 15. Oh. They they decloaked in a very bad situation. At least we know that the orcs and Eldar are not in league together. When one army attacks another, it does not mean they aren't in league. Just that they are living up to their lack of honor. And those who lack honor deserve death. Also, the orcs and Eldar. Though to be fair, the humans and Eldar have well. It's not that they haven't gotten along before. They share common enemies. Necrons, Chaos, Orcs, the usual. So, it's not entirely un unthinkable that humans and uh, humans and the Eldar work together. In fact, it's quite common sometimes. Especially when you know that the forces of Chaos are a lot worse than the Eldar are. Well, they aren't perfect, certainly, but Force of Chaos are substantially worse. 
Though it is a point to note that the Eldar did create their own Chaos God. That's where Slanesh came from, actually. Slanesh was created by the Eldar. The more you know. So as you can probably imagine, the humans don't like the Eldar. Not only because they're aliens, but... Or Xenos, I should say. But also because they did create a Chaos God. Though I don't think that's widely known. In fact, it may not be known at all. That may be like a pure meta thing. Oh, let's get these wiped out. We have it 30 minutes, so I do need to end the part here. So after this base has been wiped out, that'll be a good point to pause before we move on to dealing with the, uh, the final area. Dealing with the Eldar. I think it's uh, yeah, it's going to be Eldar, let's be honest. There's not going to be surprise chaos there, are they? You there, move you guys there. Okay then, well I'll pause it here, and I'll also end this part here, so hopefully you all have enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.